At the University of Southern California, we are considering how an autonomous social robot should understand and use proxemics in human-robot interactions. Proxemics is the study of distance and orientation in face-to-face -face social encounters. Many studies in human-robot proxemics have shown that people tend to stand closer to robots than to other people, between 0.3 meters and 1.3 meters. At these ranges, the robot is able to automatically recognize human speech. However, the robot is unable to recognize human gestures because its cameras cannot see the entire upper body of the person. Thus, the robot often fails during an autonomous social interaction with a human user. In this work, we consider how the robot recognizes both speech and gestures in a face-to-face -face social interaction. The robot first imagines itself at thousands of different locations in a room. At each location, it predicts how loudly the person will speak and in what region of space the person will gesture. The robot then predicts how well it will automatically recognize speech and gestures and assigns a score to the location based on this prediction. Finally, the robot selects the location at which it predicts it will perform the best and moves to that location. Here, we see the robot predicts it will work well between 1.5 and 2.5 meters. The robot selects 1.7 meters as the optimal location to recognize human speech and gestures and moves there. Bandit, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Bandit, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. If the average background noise in a room increases over time, the robot will predict that its automated speech and gesture recognition systems will not perform as well, and will calculate a new location at which to interact. This work has been deployed on two different mobile robot platforms, the PR2 and the banded upper body humanoid atop an iRobot AVA mobile base. This demonstrates the portability of the approach.